Hi, this is Michael here, and today I'm going to show you a trip that I took to St. Lucia. And we're going to talk about some of the fun things we did, and we're going to talk about pricing. So stay tuned till the end, and I'll give you all the details on that. First off, for you that don't know, St. Lucia is in the Caribbean, kind of close to South America. It's over here, down here, uh, kind of close towards the bottom of the chain of islands here. It's a beautiful island, and we got to stay at an amazing house up on the hill overlooking the ocean and the bay. Just an incredible place, and the house is super large, and it has a history on the island, so it was a very neat place to stay. And our uh, pet sitting gig at this place was Rex, and Rex was a massive brindle mastiff. And he was a good old boy, but he sure was big. And then we had a cat there also. So light duty on, on the pets here, but we had a great time and it's just a beautiful place to visit. I thought this was pretty funny. This cat is getting ready to jump up on Jordan. He doesn't know it, but I see what's about to happen. So I make sure I have the video camera on to catch it when he surprises Jordan. While we're in St. Lucia, we got to do a bunch of cool stuff. We went out on the boat one day and went to some cool places. We got to see the Pitons, which that's what St. Lucia is famous for, the two mountains. They have a, a semi-active volcano there, and so we went over to check it out, and then they have the mud bath, so you're in the warm water with the volcanic mud bath, getting covered with that, so we painted ourselves up and had a good time. We got to see a, a beautiful waterfall and uh, just enjoyed that for a while. Very nice. And then we went to lunch and they had a nice buffet for us. All set up that day. Good food there. And I got introduced to a soursop. I never heard of it before. It's a weird looking fruit. It has a pretty good taste. So you're always getting to try new things when you go to these new places. So that's kind of cool. This guy was on the beach and he had a bunch of produce from the island and you tell him what you wanted in your smoothie and he would just grab it and put it in there and blend it up. And it was like super fresh. Like they picked that fruit today. It was like delicious. Felt really healthy too. This was cool on the boating trip. Guy took us right through this little tunnel. Uh, so I enjoyed that. That was pretty cool. Got to do a little bit of snorkeling while we were there, and they gave us bananas to feed the fish. So they like cut up little chunks of banana and you carry them in like in a bag or something. And then when you got ready, you just pull out the banana and the fish, they really, they really liked it. Yeah, it was just a beautiful day that day. The water was nice and the temperature was nice. The day we went on the tour, they put us on a little bus. We were on the boat for a little bit and we we're on a bus for a little bit. And and the bus took us to the waterfall and the volcano place and some shopping areas and up on the hill to get the scenic view looking down on the city. So yeah, let's talk about price right now. We got this place that we stayed at was obviously amazing. Let's take a look here at St. Lucia, what they have on Airbnb. I have no idea what it would cost to rent the kind of place that we were in, but you know, it's gonna be on the high end because it was so big and everything. But you can just go to Airbnb and look around and see what you can see there. They got 200, 600 a night, 500 a night. I don't know if you wanted to guess the approximate price, maybe four or five hundred dollars a night for like the place we're staying in would might be a decent average. And for a rent car, let's just say it would cost like sixty dollars a day. So for a week, that would be thirty five hundred and approximately another 500 for the rent car. So let's just round it to four, $4,000 for a week just to stay there and drive around. We stayed there for three weeks, so that would have been $12,000. And we got in a, in like a trip of a lifetime going to St. Lucia, which was on my bucket list for years. I wanted to go to St. Lucia because I'd heard about the Pitons and it's just a beautiful place. And so I finally, this opportunity came up and I was excited when I saw it and it all worked out when I interviewed with the people. They liked us and we had our reviews and we had a little a bit of credibility built up at that time and so it all worked out perfectly. I got to check that off the bucket list. We made some good memories and just had a great time so another win for Pet City. In reality because of the cost of the trip, if I had to pay full retail price for it, $4,000 a week, 
I probably wouldn't have gone. That's probably why I didn't go all those years that it was set on my bucket list because the price is high for a week. That's a lot of money. Because of pet sitting, it takes the cost factor out of it and makes it doable, makes it enjoyable. It's like, since I don't have to work out $4,000, the choice is easy. It's like, yes, I want to go there. It's a win-win. Obviously, when you're on these trips, your other expenses are you got to buy food. Food was not too expensive there, not too bad. You have to buy your food, whether you're home or on the road. So that's kind of a, a neutral expense. You have to buy it anyway. So basically, we travel for free, and we've been doing it for over five years now. Regarding cost for an airplane ticket, I use points. It didn't cost me anything to fly as far as money. So if you have points or if you know how to get points, you can get your airfare for free. Otherwise, your expense is going to be buying an airplane ticket. Unless you're going to a place where you drive to, and there are tons of places where you can drive to. That's no problem if you're on the mainland. But you can get points from credit cards. I'm sure most people are aware of that. So basically we travel for free and we've been doing it for over five years now. I highly recommend it. If you want to travel more and keep your spending down, pet sitting, it's a no brainer. We've been living this lifestyle for over five years and I had no idea it existed, but it's a great opportunity for anybody that is able and wants to take care of some pets when they're on the road, it's really no big deal. Not only did we have a good time and enjoyed ourselves and got a super cheap vacation, but Rex's owners, they got a good deal too because we came down there, they didn't pay us anything. And if we weren't there, they would have had to put Rex in a kennel or they would have had to pay somebody to come to the house and sit with him $60 a day or whatever they charge. They saved money and Rex got to stay at home because he's a big boy. I don't know what could he do in the kennel. He got to stay home where he was comfortable and safe, and they got to save some money. So if you're thinking of pet sitting, this might be something that you're interested in, or maybe you're thinking, hey, this might be a good idea. Well, I'm here to tell you that it is a great idea. It'll save you tons of money if you're going to be traveling or want to travel more. And in my case, would probably wouldn't have gone to St. Lucia just because of the cost would be too high to pay full price. Since I was pet sitting, it's a no-brainer. It's cheap, cost me almost nothing. Overall, our trip to St. Lucia was a big win. It would have cost us approximately $4,000 a week to stay at this place and have a rent car. We stayed there for three weeks, so that would have been $12,000, theoretically, that you would have paid if you would have wanted to stay there for that long. Because of Rex, we paid zero. So it's an amazing opportunity. That's why we're trying to share this concept with more people so they can enjoy vacations and getaways and all sorts of fun activities while they travel.